Hello, my fellow uh, Limitless HBICs. How you doing on this uh, lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, huh? How are all your sexy, sassy, saucy is doing today? How you doing? I've gotten, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting something today. So I'm recording because I want to hammer this home. I want to release you all from the, the, the beliefs that there's, you know, something stopping you from getting what you want or there are obstacles or there are limits. I want to release you from it. And I'm, I'm hoping these videos are doing that. I'm intending that they do. So, but first, if you need help, figuring out what's going on between a you and your manifestation. Please feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. All of my coaching options are in the Dropbox below. They're in the screens that just went by. I have two channel memberships, uh, exclusive live coaching where we judge, we judge and we share tips and tricks and successes. We don't talk old stories and we don't talk circumstances. At least we try not to. And there is the hot seat slash group coaching which officially starts editing kim here yeah i was about to say that it starts february 24th as in like the future but that's because i recorded that video a week ago so the new coaching group has already started hot seat coaching started last friday and it went very very well so if you are interested in getting into the hot seat being able to ask me specific questions like, you know, through video call, you're going to want to join that membership, okay? But not if you're triggered by other people's circumstances, then don't join, okay? But it's already started. It was very successful. And yeah, and I know some of you that are in the exclusive lives group want to upgrade to the hot seat coaching. And I'm not 100% sure as of yet on how we can do that. I know there are several of you who have already upgraded to that group and it would be great if you you could let us know below how you were able to do that because i don't know how to on my end and i've looked on youtube i've looked so we're still waiting for an answer on that okay back to the video uh yeah okay i also have tiktok i have instagram i would love and appreciate you to, to hang out with me everywhere and i would happily ask you if you could hook a girl up and put a like on this video so that my videos are getting out to other people. Thank you so much to all of you. You like the video before you even watch it. I freaking love and appreciate you for that. And I do notice that you guys are liking the videos more. And my God, you are helping. You have no idea. I'm seeing it now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much already. And to all of you who were liking the videos before I even started asking for the like. Thank you. I appreciate you. I sure shit wish I understood what that meant back then so I could have been thanking you more. Okay. On that note, let's jump right in. Okay. So I want to get back into the talking of who you believe you are is what you're manifesting at all times. And I want to show you all that, listen to me, Neville was telling you this too, right? We know I'm not a Neville purist, but I do love Neville because without him, I'm not sure I would I would be into this, right? Ne Neville is a grandpa, the grandpa to the community. Yes? Okay. We are always manifesting from who we, we, we believe we are, you know, relevant to that manifestation category. So if you're manifesting a specific person or you're manifesting money, who you believe you are relevant to that category is what you've been experiencing, right? Or another way of saying it is we look at our 3D and we think of it as, okay, well, I haven't gotten what I wanted. I don't like the experiences I have. So there were limiting beliefs and that's why they projected out. That's why I didn't get what I want. And we want to change that. I got you. Okay. And I've been sharing the message with you for a while that all you got to do is embody the state of the version of you who has the manifestation. And another easy way of saying it is, well, who do you think you are? Who do you believe you are when it comes to love, right? Are you someone that's chosen, shown up for, loved, cherished, desired, pursued? Are you any of that? 
Do you actually believe that your specific person could just choose you because it's you? Do you believe that you can be shown up for? And don't panic. If your answer to that is, no, I don't believe, it's okay. You eventually will, okay? Don't panic. But I want you to hear me on this, okay? So I know when I say it's just a decision, it's just the decision that you are that version of yourself. Now, I know it sounds too good to be true. And maybe that's just my limiting belief that I, I'm thinking you're thinking that. And that's because I thought that at one time too. I thought there must be the journey of healing. There must be the journey of fixing my self-concept. There's no way that I could just decide that I don't have this limiting belief anymore. I, that's that, There's no way that works. But my God, yes, it does. Yes, it is that easy, okay? It is that easy. Now, I want you to hear something. I'm going to read a little Neville, and this is from Your Faith is Your Fortune. Okay, listen. Taking your attention from one state, which is one version of you, and placing it on another, you die to the one from which you have taken it and you live and express the one with which you are united. So in other words, when you are making the decision to be the new you, the repetition of you choosing that new version of yourself, who you believe you are, that decision of you deciding that's who I am now, that's who you join with and the other one fades, meaning your old self just dies, just fades away, yeah? or at least that's what it appears to do because you're choosing the new reality, okay? But listen, man cannot see how it would be possible to express that which he desires to be by so simple a law as acquiring the consciousness of the thing desired. Meaning everyone has the moments where we're thinking, there's no way it's just that easy that I'm just gonna decide I'm that new version of myself. It's because of the state you're currently in or who you believe you are in this moment. That's why it seems so difficult. That's why it's too hard to believe because that's how you're perceiving your current 3D. So don't blame yourself. Don't, don't give yourself a guilt trip because you haven't you know, had it click with you yet. That doesn't matter. Just listen. The reason for this lack of faith on the part of a man is that he looks at the desired state through the consciousness of his present limitations. Therefore, he naturally sees it as an impossible of, sees, excuse me, sees it as impossible of accomplishment. Start over again. The reason for the lack of faith on the part of man is that he looks at the desired state through the consciousness of his present limitations. Therefore, he naturally sees it as impossible of accomplishment. So you see, the reason why it seems too good to be true, it seems too easy that you can just make the decision without going on an endless journey of fixing yourself. The reason why you feel that way is because of who you currently believe you are or the current state you're embodying. I've even seen coaches tell you that it's not that easy. You have to work on this. You have to do this in order to get your desire. You have to. And I'm telling you, it's a fucking decision. And it's nothing more than that. It's a daily decision to be the new version of self. And the changes begin. The orchestration is at play, even if you think it's not even if the 3D doesn't look exactly the way you want it to just yet, and even if you feel no different inside, you showing up and making the decision that you are in this new self is what changes everything out here. I am talking from fucking personal experience. It's why I'm in the relationship of my dreams right now. It's why I'm experiencing it. Because I showed up and made the decision every day even when I didn't feel like it, even when I wasn't believing I was changing, even when I had my moments of doubt that it can't just be this easy. Oh my God, Kim, what are you doing? It can't be this easy. Yes, it is. So decide. Decide who you want to be and just decide it and be it every day. No matter what your 3D is showing you, it will change. You literally 
can be, do, and have anything you desire, including a specific person. You're just showing up day after day as the version of yourself who believes you have limitations, who believes that you have limited beliefs to work on. You are God consciousness at your core. You are already whole. You're choosing to believe the limitations. You don't have to believe in them anymore. And on that note, I'll see you tomorrow.